I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Zatherian Plays And today we are bringing to you a grotesque guardian's quick guide As you can see, my setup for range is having the blowpipe with Zamorakian Dehide body and chaps, your Slayer Helm, Primordials Not much of a range switch, just four way For our melee, we're going to be using the Scythe with Bandos And then we're also going to be showcasing the Inquisitor Mace So let's get started, shall we? Quickly go up and now for those of you that don't know, you can right click the bell and do quick start, which that's what we're going to do to bypass the cutscene. It has three phases. Phase one, dust cannot be damaged, so you have to damage Dawn. Once Dawn is down to around 240 to 248 HP, it will fly up and then dust can be damaged. So we're going to quickly get Dawn's HP down. Quickly do a quick heal, see if it hits. Okay, flying up. Switch to your melee. Normally you can get off three hits with the scythe before he does his special attack. Run away and then run back. Avoid the fallen rocks or else you will be stunned for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now this is phase 2. Avoid the lightning on the ground, it will do consistent damage. In phase 2, she will throw 3 orbs on the ground. Now, for this instance, we are going to disregard the orbs and see if we can out damage the orbs growing. If done correctly, you will not have to do them. But we did not. And now she is fully healed for 270 HP with three orbs. So you'll have to deal all the damage once again. Now that that's out of the way, switch back to your melee. Restore any health or prayer as needed. And this is a good one. For when you get this, just step into the square if you're ever blocked against the wall. Final phase, he will do both melee and range attacks. Unavoidable damage no matter what you're praying, unless he hits zeros. So quickly finish him off. Now let's go ahead and get our prayer back up, heal a little bit, and let's begin the next kill where we showcase the Inquisitor Mace. Note Dusk is weak to crush, thus why we are using the Inquisitor's Mace. Get two attacks off. Oh, we managed to get three. 
Now I know some of you cannot afford a scythe and or inquisitor's mace, so a granite hammer or even a whip will work. During this phase, we're going to go ahead and show that you absorb the energy. We go ahead and run and absorb all the energy so that she does not heal. Normally that throw of the orb that you see thrown at me that throws me into stone is very inaccurate. So you do not always have to run because it is random where it is thrown. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Grotesque Guardians is done. I do hope that y'all enjoyed this quick guide that I've made for you today. I do hope that you've learned something from it and took something away from the video. With that, zith out, and we'll see you in the next one.